Hello, and welcome to another tutorial video for CSCI 2824, Discrete Structures. Last week in office hours, I noticed that some people were having a little bit of difficulty grasping the concepts of conditional probability and independence. We're going to go over those, um, those problems today because they are very important in order for us to understand Bayes' theorem, the next thing that we'll be working on. Let's start with the definition of conditional probability. Conditional probability is a measure of the probability of an event occurring given Make sure to emphasize given some other event has occurred. So when we see the word given, we know that we're working with conditional probability. We actually have a formula for conditional probability, which we'll write out now. So the probability of event A occurring given, this vertical sign here means given, the probability of event A occurring given event B has occurred is equal the probability of A intersect B or A and B over the probability of B. So that's a pretty nice formula. It breaks down something that looks complicated into two things that we can easily solve. And this is really easy to understand when we actually have an example. So let's say that I pick from a bag containing four starbursts and four warheads and I'm just picking at random. Given that I picked a warhead, what is the probability that I now pick a starburst? And so we can start here by just writing out our formula. So the probability of starburst given warhead is equal to the probability of starburst and warhead over the probability of warhead. So it's important to remember that we are calculating this given the fact that I've already picked a warhead. So we need to pick one warhead out. Perfect. Let's start by calculating the probability of starburst given warhead, of, prob of starburst and warhead. So the probability of starburst and warhead is pretty easy. We see that the probability of picking a starburst is four sevenths. And the probability of picking a warhead is three sevenths. Now, when we see the word and, we remember that that reminds us of the product rule. And so we multiply those together. We can also, again, see that the probability of picking a warhead is just three sevenths. This means that the probability of picking a starburst, given I've picked a warhead, is equal to 4 sevenths times 3 sevenths over 3 sevenths. Or, that is to say, it is equal to 4 sevenths. And that makes perfect sense. We have seven candies, four of them are starbursts. Awesome. Now, conditional probability is also really useful for calculating another thing, and that is independence. So, the definition of independent events. Two events are independent when one event occurring in no way affects the probability of another event. If two events are not independent, they are rather dependent. So the question is, how do we show this? And let's go back to our example again. So again, I've got four starbursts and I have four warheads. Now, it's pretty easy for us to tell that these are not independent events. That's because at the beginning, I have four starbursts and four warheads. So my probability of picking either candy is one half. However, the second that I pick a warhead out, for the next pick, my probability of picking a starburst goes up to four sevenths, and my probability of picking a warhead goes down to three sevenths. We can actually show this using a formula, and that is, the probability of A equals the probability of A given B if two events are independent. And similarly, the probability of A does not equal the probability of A given B if two events are dependent. 
So again, let's go back to our example. What is the probability of picking a starburst? The probability of picking a starburst is easy. It's four eighths. And we calculated that the probability of picking a starburst, given that I picked a warhead, is equal to four sevenths. It's pretty easy for us to see that four eighths does not equal four sevenths. And so we can say that this must be dependent. Understanding conditional probability and independence is really important when it comes to probability. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.